So you want to know what to buy your bowler friend for Christmas? Well, guess what? You're in luck! Because I have answers. Okay, so beside, you know, bowling balls and shoes and all this kind of stuff that would be obvious, I'm going to give you guys some ideas for everything under $20, except for one, but I don't know, it's kind of optional. Um, and I have a cheat sheet down here, so if you see me looking down, that's why. Um, so the first thing I have on my list is shoe covers. Every bowler uses shoe covers, or at least they should. They're gonna ruin their shoes. Um, and shoe covers are known for ripping and breaking. It, it just happens. They're cheaply made, all of them. And when you're, you know, using your shoe covers, you don't do it gracefully. You know, you don't put them on gracefully. You just sit there on one leg and are, like, basically you're trying to keep your balance. And you just quick throw the thing on before you fall over. So those are about $10 to $15, um, you know, for decent ones. I know there's a lot of people online that make them, too. So that could be another option. Um, next thing. Bag tags. And by the way, I'm going to keep showing pictures like that, just so you guys are aware, because this video is aimed for non-bowlers. Uh, bag tags are something everyone needs if they're going to travel uh, by plane to any tournament ever. Um, they're just nice to have, and... Uh, they're good for juniors, too, because a lot of people like to steal bags or just take them by mistake. But if you say, hey, there's my tag, you say, oh, well, that sucks. And then they usually drop the bag and run. Um, I'm being dramatic, but, you know. Next thing is insert tape. Every bowler uses insert tape, and there's a lot of different kinds of insert tape, but I would go with the white stuff, just because the white stuff is the most common and the cheapest, usually. You can buy them from any brand. There is subtle differences between all of them and um, that sort of thing, and some bowlers say that they get, like, blisters when they use different products, but they go away anyway. But yeah, it's very nice to have. And those go for maybe five to ten dollars. Next thing is a towel or a chamois. And you all know what a towel looks like, but a microfiber towel. Microfiber towels are the best. Um, just because they pick up the most oil and they can go the longest without having to be washed. Next thing, a puff ball. Now this is optional. You, and a puff ball is just that big powder ball that a lot of bowlers like use with their hand and stuff and you'll see them like, just like squishing it in their hand before they throw a shot. You know, I would ask them first, you know, hey, do you, do you use a puffball or whatever? Um, otherwise, don't get them. But that's around $10. Next thing, again, is optional. If if your bowler bowls a lot of tournaments and that sort of thing, Aberlon pads. Aberlon pads change the surface of a ball. They go from anywhere from, like, $4 to 20 Next. Ball conditioners. Ball conditioners are another thing that helps with the cleaning of the surface of the bowling ball and changing it. It makes it shiny and shinier and clean. And even like the Brunswick Crown um, like gel stuff has little particles in it, which are basically just like little like rocks in it, um, and it sands up the surface of the ball. And those, I don't know how 
much they are, um, but I would go to your local pro shop and see what they have. <clears throat> Next thing, again, is optional, thumb tape. Some bowlers use it, some bowlers don't. Most of them do, but I don't. So I can't speak for everyone. And those go for around $10, $15 a roll. Next thing, new skin. Again, not every bowler uses this, but just ask, you know, hey, do you use new skin? Or ask someone else on their team at league or something if they use new skin. I don't know. But that goes for $10. Next thing, uh, not every bowler would need this, only really if you bowl a ton of tournaments, but thumb slugs. Thumb slugs go in where your thumb would go in to the ball. Here, let me just show you. Let me show you. This right here. So you drill a big hole, and you put this in there, and then you drill the actual thumb. That is so the, uh, basically every ball feels the same if you have a lot of bowling balls. But that's only really need, needed if you have a lot of bowling balls. Next thing, gift cards to their local bowling center. Usually, if you get um, gift cards to their bowling center, they get bowling, you know, they can use it for anything in the facility, like pro shop and the restaurant, if they have one, and that sort of thing. And that's just, you know, like, however much you put on there, I, I guess. Oh, and I forgot to mention, thumb slugs usually go for maybe 5 to $8, depending on the quality and the uh, brand. Next thing. This is the only one that goes above $20, uh, and not many bowlers use them, but I love to, especially because I practice around six days a week, maybe five. Um, wireless earbuds. Wireless earbuds are great because they drown out the noise from, you know, other bowlers and everything, and all the bowler has to do is put these in and they can focus on their shot and they don't have to worry about distractions. Also, I have heard of bowlers whose heels squeak when they get to the line and they don't like it, so they use earbuds. Not me, but you know, some people do it. I don't know. And then the last thing is, I, I wrote it on here is miscellaneous. Um, bowling shirts. Funny bowling shirts. Funny bowling shirts are great. Um, even, like, if they have a specific brand that they throw, like, I throw Brunswick, get them, like, a Brunswick shirt, I don't know, get them whatever that brand is shirt. Sorry, what is my hair doing? Stop it. Stop it. Stay. Stay there. Sorry. Um, and, like, I think bowling ornaments, I think they still make those. Uh, I've seen a lot of keychains with just bowling pins on them. Uh, coffee cups, I don't know. They make a lot of novelty bowling stuff, and I don't know why. Um, but, I mean, it's nice. So, I don't know how much those go for. The shirts, I know, go for around 15 to $20. You know, if they're worth it, get it for them. <laughs> God, that's horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit, you know. And if you want to, use this video next year, or send this to your friends if they have, you know, if your friends know bowlers and don't know what to get for them, share this video to them. Or... If you want to be, you know, cheap and not give me a view, then you can write all, like, write all of them down. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, 
uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you learned a lot, and I will see y'all later. You know, and to... Wait a minute. Is my hair really doing that? Go over there.